Good morning once again, Red Ang Revivalers. Welcome back to day two of my uh, Alps tour, um, the Route de Grande Alps. So yesterday I left Monaco, amazing place Monaco, um, some incredible boats. What a place to start a tour. Yeah, it was pr pretty special being there actually and getting to see the where the F1 circuit is. Um, if you haven't seen the first episode, check that out and you'll be able to catch up with where we are now. But had a very splendid night last night in the uh, the hotel here. I'll pop a shot up of its name. It's very nice in a town called Leven. Unfortunately, after a whole day's riding yesterday, it's probably about an hour north of Nice. Uh, <laughs> this town I'm in. Check out yesterday's video to find out what happened. You'll get caught up, but there were some mishaps. Anyway, it turned out all right. I'm here, stayed in a lovely hotel, feeling very rested, slept very well, ready for day two. So today I'm gonna head, it's quite a long day, probably about five to six hours riding. It's quite a lot for me on, on the old Speedmaster there. Look at that. Whoa. We're heading up to a campsite. Uh, it's quite high up. It's right near, probably pronunciation's wrong again, but Mont Thabor. It's a campsite nestled right in between two mountains. Looks absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna try my very best to make it to the campsite tonight <laughs> in good time and get the tent up and hopefully a little bit of wild swimming. That would be splendid. Very good for the mental health, bit of wild swimming. We'll get into that later. But yeah, all ready to go. Let's all, all get packed up. It's quite a biker hotel here. I'll spin you around, take a look at some of the bikes. So it looks like some of the lads turned up last night. Got a Yamaha MT-10, or a couple of Yamaha MT-10s. I like to call them the transformer bike. So let me know if you agree. It looks like the eyes at the front and the yellow rims. I think it looks like one of the sort of transformers off of those films. We've got an old school Yamaha. Uh, what, and a third MT-10 back there. It's the MT-10 squad. Nice. Now if we pan around, there she is. Oh, looking class this morning, if I may say so myself. Hello, girl. Ready for today's adventure? Yeah? Let's go. Packed up, ready to go. See you on the road, team. Going well guys, going really well. 
so beautiful coming up here. So the temperature's perfect. As you can see this town behind me perched right on the edge of the hillside. Just some stunning roads up here. Beautiful morning. Getting good miles under the belt. All going well so far. To sort of check in, keep you posted. See you on the road. Fantastic ride this morning, as downing roads as usual. I'm in the town of Guilhem, Guilhem, maybe my pronunciation again, but yeah, stopped perfect place for lunch. It seems to be a really popular place for uh, bikers here. Let's uh, I'll show you around, take a look at some of the bikes. So, of course, there's a uh, the Speedmaster herself taking prime position there as she does. And uh, this is the town quite small but it's a popular spot it's got this sort of central roundabout here it's very pretty and then yeah it's just all the bikers just park their stuff we got all sorts bmw s1000 xr and then you got your off-roads so ktms got a big toro triumph 1200 very nice i believe there's a new new 1200 coming out soon actually i think this is cool the africa twin I used to have the, the older version, 2016 model. This is a cool spec, looks cool in black. Great bike. It did, I didn't get on too well with it, mainly for what I was using it for, but it, it is a great bike. It looks and sounds mega. Oh, is that a Triumph Bonneville? I believe it is, it's a street twin. Nice, hello sir. And look what I spotted here, of course, classic GS's they're everywhere there must be something about them I've actually never ridden one I think that's got to be on the cards when I get back to the UK maybe test rider GS let me know what you think but tucked in behind it oh Harley Davidson that is class really cool I'm not exactly sure what what Harley that is let me know in the comments if you do but I love the stance of that and look how wide the handlebars are that's awesome. Right, I'm just going to grab some food, guys, and a drink. It's pretty hot here. Cool, so nice and refreshed. Beautiful lunch stop there. What a wicked, wicked little town this is, sort of down in a valley, but it's real biker, biker centre. I was just chatting to a few, few other bikers, um, which is always good. Some people off on some real proper strong adventures. Um, Nice Africa twin. Yeah, people off on some great adventures. Um, yeah, but we're gonna hit the road. I've got about two, two and a half hour journey now. So quite a long stretch. Um, but it's half one, so got plenty of time. Um, we're heading off to a campsite just, well, it's probably about half an hour north, half an hour north of, um, Barcelonette. Uh, it's on the route the Grande Alpe. Um, yeah, and we'll check that campsite out. If it's good, might stay there. If it's not, there's one further on that, that looks pretty special. So actually, I quite want to get the further on one. But let's hit the road, get some miles under the belt, and uh, enjoy it. Once again, it's a lovely little stop there, just a little break. Soak up the scenery and then keep on moving, hit the road again. I think I can quite quite confidently say these are the uh, these are the best best roads for this bike anyway. I have I've ridden so far. They are Brilliant, they're so smooth, they're in really good condition. And the view is spectacular. Um, and the corners are, are just brilliant, they're not too aggressive. So you can really sort of dig in and just set your corner and, and go. 
it's actually great roads for practicing, practicing on. So there, there's a lot of bikers around here in these roads, not, but not too many, like it's really nice. You can just see that the bikers just look so happy we all give each other the nod or the wave. And like, they're just smiling, they know, you know they're having fun and they know you're having fun, it's such a nice thing, so cool. Okay hey guys, wow, we're on Col de Var. That was the nicest, nicest bit of riding I think I've ever done, or definitely ever done. That was so nice. You can see in the background, or just nice green grass, nice and flat. Oh, you can just see the views are incredible. The sun is coming down perfectly lighting up the mountains i honestly could nearly cry it's it's that nice it's so nice yeah it's just absolutely stunning everything's worked going really well i feel really good really good for the mental health there surely can't be anything better than this get out into nature do what you love for me it's motorbiking but it could be something different whatever you want to do and this is just stunning a place like this sorry i'm i'm blabbing on but yeah that was quality yeah so nice guys i highly recommend coming out here col de var best coal yet 100 percent get yourselves up here early september now i think it's a uh, well i'll check the date later but we're early september this video will be a few days delayed until it comes out but yeah beautiful time of the year it's just perfect temperature anyway just a quick rant there um i'm gonna grab a quick coffee here get the fuel back in just relax a bit that was stunning soak up the scenery thanks for watching so far it's been an absolute pleasure see you in a bit look at this guy bike beautiful stunning thing real custom I think it's going to sound pretty nice by the look of those exhausts. I want to see him start it up. <laughs> top of the uh, Col de Var, it's a popular motorbiking spot and there's this stunning, actually people sunbathing up here, there's this stunning spot. Gonna have a lovely coffee. Cheers. Perfect. Who said expeditions had to be tough? So uh, this is not a bad place for a coffee. Afternoon coffee guys, just chilling back. Got my espresso right at the top of Col de Far. Oh, in a lounger, just <laughs> doing a bit of sunbathing. Got a nice tap.
down there. But it looks like heading up into Mordor. Into the eye, Saruman. It's getting serious now. I've got the Union Jack winter fleeced uh, bandana out. I've got my Berghaus, is that how you pronounce it? Jumper under this jacket, because this is all just mesh. And it's getting, it's getting nippy. We're getting high. The clouds are coming over, properly climbing now. We're coming up a, a big col and it's getting cold. Woo! It's fun, it's an adventure. Bike is ready, she's ready to roll. Hello, biker. She's ready to roll. I'm ready to go. Let's take it on. Take the big call on. Oh. It's seriously like Lord of the Rings up here. Epic. Woo! Getting into nature. Quality climb. Okay guys, we've arrived at the campsite and it's about 7 o'clock so not too bad timing, it looks really nice here, look at these lakes, beautiful, nice colour. One last hurdle, let's hope they have some space. <laughs> I really hope they do. Fingers crossed, seriously. Love to camp here, it looks like an amazing spot. Oh no, I missed them by five minutes. Okay guys. Beautiful. We've arrived at the campsite. Be a little bit late. I'm five minutes late. Um, but so they've closed. But there's a sign saying just pick pick a spot where you want to camp, and then in the morning go and see them and sort it all out and pay and everything. So that's awesome. I'm going to do that. I've got a spot here. Um, there's no Wi-Fi here, which is is fine. It's quite nice to be honest. One problem: I don't have an adapter for the electrics here but that's learning learning curve so i'm not gonna be able to charge anything tonight part of the adventure i suppose well um, <laughs> i've got quite a few things to charge given all the filming and everything but i suppose we'll i can try and sort something out it's part of the adventure and part of learning fantastic day i'm just going to uh, set the tent up before it gets too dark and then i'll uh, catch up with you later all right guys look at that and she's up five minutes later getting better at this I've got everything, everything inside. I think I'm gonna leave the saddlebags on the bike tonight. I think they'll be fine as it's a very quiet spot. It's about 10 past eight now. Looks like a pretty amazing sunset there. Looks like it's raining heavily over there. I hope it's not coming this way. Fingers crossed, but yeah. Um, I'm just geared up. 
because I'm going to ride into the local village and see if I can charge my phone for half an hour. <laughs> but yeah, I should do that and then I'll be back hopefully. Not too late. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> it's a bit spooky. I've got some charging in, in the local town. Bit of a mission, but call it tactical charging. I think that's what we'll call it. Um, yeah, off to hit the hay now, but I thought I'd just show you the setup and the sky for the night. So here she is. I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, to Malk. As you can see, I've got my guy lines out. Big shout out to Malk. Thank you very much for that. Hopefully it's gonna be dry in there tonight then, just to keep that external fabric off of the um, the internal section. Cheers, Malk, spot on. We'll see how it goes in the morning. It's pretty damp at the moment. So it should be quite a nice night. It's perfect, really nice and cool. Bike's just there. And uh, right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Catch you in the morning. <laughs> 